everyone, welcome back. This is update 0 0.68. So a quick one here. Only two changes and a bunch of bug, bug fixes. The first one is um, somebody, uh, Marcel, actually requested to have all the paper targets have a white backing instead of having the targets, uh, the, the hit zones shown at the back. So this is more realistic, I would guess, right? And so even uh, it works for IPSC targets as well. With that. Cool. So the, the other big change that I spent most of my time doing is the new camera system. Uh, before you had this camera control over here, which allows you to only have a bunch, a few cameras, right? The orthographic, the um, whole stage and all that, which was pretty lame. But now I allow you to do custom cameras. So uh, right now you see I have no cameras here, but in order to add a camera, you use your uh, backspace button. So let's say if I find this position here and I hit backspace, I give the camera a name. Let's call this first. And then if you want to fly up, maybe you have a different view of the stage like this and you add another camera called second. So now when you go over to the camera control, now you have a first and second. So you can toggle between first and second. You can also rename the camera. Let's say I'll call this third, whatever, right? And then uh, the other one is you can come over here. Maybe let's say I take another, another picture here and call this second. Now, if you go over to the camera control, you see that you have first, third, and second. But you can also reorder this. Uh, if you want, I want to move second up here. I can just hit this button, and now second is moved up. So this allows you to control the position of the cameras. Later on, uh, I will implement a way for you to uh, transition from camera to camera to camera so that you can have nice flow-through videos of your stages. So that will be implemented later. And also, if you don't want this camera, you can just go in here and just hit this minus, and you'll remove the camera, right? Um, so pretty straightforward like that. And so this also persists and will save together with your stage file. And also if you go over to your stage briefing, uh, if you go view print, now you see cameras over here. You can choose which camera you want to project here and you can obviously, you know, switch this as well. Yeah, so that works. So this was the, the big major change. It took a while for me to implement this, but now uh, let me know. Give me some feedback how you like this. And again, uh, to give feedback, just go over to the settings, provide feedback or you can join our Discord channel. The link to the Discord channel is in the YouTube description below. And apart from that, have a great weekend, guys. See you on the range.